Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be looking at some new Monster High dolls that will be coming out. There are two lines already, uh, the Creepover Party line and a Budget doll line. Let's start with the Creepover line. Let's start with Dracula and she's really cute, she's really cute. I was, I'm not that blown away by her or anything, but she's supposed to be in her PJs I guess because it's a sleepover, creepover party and I do really like it. I love her, her robe, her pants. I do think that I would need to see her uh, out of the box first to really decide whether I'm going to buy her or not uh, but she's quite cute and I'm just happy that they're back and I, do you see this little space bun she has adorable adorable <laughs> I love it and I love her pet and it seems like her pet comes with a little pet as well which is quite cute but yeah I quite like her oh and these dolls are supposed to be I I'm not 100% sure if this is true, but they're supposed to be around $25, which does seem like the type of price they would give these dolls. I mean, Mattel would give these dolls. I mean, they are articulated and they come with some accessories, so it does seem reasonable. Okay, on to the next doll. Now, this Claudine doll, I'm actually not that big of a fan of her. I do like the pieces that she comes with, the extra accessories, items, I don't know, but her coat seems a bit weird to me. I mean, I, I'm not really a fan of the fabric and stuff. It's the same type of fa fabric as the as one of the Barbie Extra dolls, the one that came with a bunch of extra uh, clothing pieces. Uh, she had this type of skirts that you could also make into a cape and it was made of the same fabric and the same color even and <laughs> I didn't really like it that much and her shoes do look a bit weird to me but they may look better out of the box um, so I'm not 100% sure yet but I don't think I will be buying her uh, but that's also because I'm trying to be really picky uh, with the dolls that I buy. The last doll of this line is Frankie. Oh, well, she's not the last, but the last that we'll be talking about today oh, from this particular line. Uh, but Frankie, uh, this makes me really sad, but I I don't like her. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, I, th I think the picture is just not well taken or whatever. Maybe she will look better out of the box, but she kind of looks like a knockoff <laughs> monster <laughs> I don't know but it's just not my style Ugh. yeah I won't be buying her probably maybe if she's like on clearance or something but, uh. but I, we need to see pictures of them out of the box first or like actual promotion pictures where the dolls aren't in their box, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then I'll decide, so... Or maybe after I've watched some unboxer, that's even better, but yeah. <laughs> Sorry. This is the artwork of the box, and as you can see over here, uh, you s you'll see that there's also a Twilight doll that's supposed to come with this line. I mean, why would I drown her otherwise, so... Yeah, there's also a Twilight creepover doll coming which I do find kind of weird because Twyla wasn't really one of the big main characters but I'm assuming that in this new storyline new animation and stuff that Twyla will be a more important character uh, than in the previous line which I do kind of wish it was Laguna because, <laughs> because I really like Laguna but Twyla is cu cute too so and wasn't Twyla younger than the other girls in the original Monster High? Was she? Uh, well, doesn't matter, but yeah. Okay, now we're going to talk about the budget line, which I'm absolutely... Ab ab 
absolutely in love with. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's look at them. Okay, this is the <laughs> this is the Claudine doll, and I love her so much. <laughs> she doesn't have any molded on clothing. I know that her like long sleeved t shirt kinda looks a bit like it's molded because it's so tight, but it's not. I zoomed in and it's not. It's an actual t shirt. And oh, and these are supposed to be around thirteen dollars. Yes, I I was in my mind when I heard that there would be a budget line. I thought in my mind uh, that they would be maybe fifteen between fifteen and twenty dollars, which I was fine with. But they're thirteen dollars. <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> and, and these look just just as good as the Draculaura doll that I talked about previously. According to my opinion, sorry. Um, <laughs> but that makes me really happy because I don't have that much money. Uh, but I'm still able to buy nice quality Monster High dolls now. Yay! <laughs> and I don't really remember the prices of the original Monster High dolls. Uh, I think that like the the signature ones, the, the dolls in their main outfits, I think they were around $25 or something. And that there were like cheaper dolls that were fifteen dollars or something, but they were still articulated. So I think they're around the same price. But I did heard that the Dracula doll, uh, but that could be changed. Uh, it's not official uh, because they haven't officially released yet. Uh, but someone said that the Dracula doll that I showed in my previous video was supposed to be thirty-eight. Uh, Canadian dollars apparently which is a lot uh, but also prices of dolls in every country are different so you never know but yeah because dolls are automatically are a bit more expensive where I live as well so mm -hmm. okay the last doll is Frankie I quite like Frankie uh, I mean this doll oh well also the character but um, in the creepover party line, they. I mean, I prefer this doll over the creepover party line. Yeah. They do kind of look like they don't have a neck, but <laughs> that's probably because of the pictures. Because of the way the picture is taken, it's like a bit upwards. Um, but yeah, I quite uh, like this doll, and I will probably get this. Well, I will most that If they are released here where I live, then I will definitely get them. Yeah, hey. <laughs> but when I look at uh, these dolls and the Claudine doll as well, the quality of their hair and their clothes all seem very nice to me. Uh, and I love the face sculpts, the makeup, the screening. So I really like these dolls. I'm very happy. I'm not that big of a fan of the Creepover party line. But I really like the budget dolls, which is good because they're cheaper, so <laughs> I can get them. Yay! Uh, but yeah, I'm very happy and excited. And yeah, I, just, I can't wait until they get in stores. I, I want them. I want them so bad. <laughs> and I am very curious to see uh, the other main characters from the line, uh, from the I guess main line where we already saw the Draculaura uh, doll that I showed you in my previous video uh, they're the more higher up well higher up they're a bit more expensive but they're the, I guess the new main line in their main outfits and I do really want to see Frankie and Claudine and just all the other girls um, but seeing as we already got pictures of these dolls and Draculaura was already in a store in Canada for some reason, I think we will see, th see them soon. So I'm excited and I can't wait. <laughs> okay, that's everything I have for you guys today. I hope you liked this video and see you next time. Bye!